What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another draw preview, and we have the second major of the year, the French Open. Roll on Garros 2021, and we're going to go through the women's draw for 2021, and we've got big names playing. It is an absolutely stacked draw, but some names have pulled out, so let's go to the withdrawal list. So not too many players have actually pulled out of the French Open, which is good to see. Flipkins, she's not playing. Simona Halep's not playing. She's out with a left calf injury. By far the biggest name to not be playing the French Open this year. Stoza, she's also pulled out. Strikov is not playing. Yastremsk is also not playing and Teichman has pulled out as well. All right, let's start at the top of the draw and we have Ash Barty, the world number one, of course. She gets Pera in the first round, so a good start for her. Remember, this is the first time that Ash Barty is playing since winning the French Open in 2019. The winner of that match will play either Lynette or the wild card Parquet in the second round. Then we have a qualifier versus another wild card Sharma. Winner of that match is going to play either Putin Seva or the number 25 seed Jabor in the second round. Then we've got the 24th seed, Coco Goff. She gets a qualifier in the first round. Winner of that match is going to take on either Wang or Shea in the second round. Then we have another qualifier versus Ferro. Winner of that match is going to play either Sevastova or the number 13 seed Brady. Circle that match as one to watch because Jennifer Brady, we know she can play on the hard courts, but she's going to have to get through a tough opponent in the first round against Sevastova. But the players to watch out for, obviously, we're going to watch out for Ash Barty. Coco Goff is also one to watch. And I'm also interested to see how Jabor does because she has played well over the last couple of months and she made a clay court final. So I'm interested to see how she does, especially if she plays Barty in that third round. Going to the second section of the draw now, we have another blockbuster first round. The number nine seed Pliskova taking on Vekic. Now Vekic is coming back from surgery, but that is definitely one to watch. Circle that one. The winner of that match is going to take on either Suarez Navarro or Stevens in the second round. And Suarez Navarro is coming back from a battle with cancer, so definitely keep an eye on her this week. See how well she can do in her comeback. Then we have a qualifier versus Zhang. Winner of that match is going to play either Petkovic or the number 18 seed, Mukova. Then we got the number 32 seed, Alexandrova versus Venus Williams. Interested to see how Venus does this week. Winner of that match is going to take on either Krajikova or Kristina Pliskova. So both Pliskovas in the same part of the draw. Then we've got Lee versus Gasparin. Winner of that match is going to take either the wild card Babel or the number five seed Svetolina. So for me, this is a very wide open part of the draw. Svetolina being the highest seed and Pliskova having some good form making the final of Rome. But for some reason, she just loses matches that she should win at majors. So she's not a guarantee to get through. Also interested to see how Mukova does because remember, she did really well at the Australian Open earlier this year. And she also beat Naomi Osaka on clay a few weeks ago. So I'm definitely interested to see those three players. And remember, the winner of this section of the draw will play the winner of the top section in the quarterfinals. So there's a potential to have Barty versus Svetolina in the quarterfinals. If we go by the seedings, it could be Mukova versus Barty. Remember, Mukova beat Barty at the last major at the Australian Open. It could also be Goff versus Pliskova. I mean, that could also happen. But I'm expecting the most likely scenario would be Svetolina versus Barty. And they've played a lot before. All right, heading over to the third section of the draw now. We've got Sophia Kennan. She takes on Ostapenko in the first round. Champ versus champ, and an absolute blockbuster first round. Kennan looking for some form, and Ostapenko, she's won this tournament before. So definitely circle that one as one to watch. Winner of that match is going to take on either a qualifier or Blinkova in the second round. Then we have Martin Kova versus Jorovic. Winner of that match is going to take on either Zhu or the number 28 seed Pagula, who has been in great form in 2021. Then we've got the number 17 seed Sakari. She takes on a qualifier. Winner of that match will take on either Paulini or another qualifier in the second round. Then we've got Watson versus Diaz. Winner of that match takes on either another qualifier or number 14 seed Mertens in the second round. So for me, this is a very wide open part of the draw. Kennan, not in great form, even though she's the highest seed. So I'll be watching out for her this week. Also, Mertens, she's had some good results on the clay. She actually beat Simona Halep on the clay during the warm-up tournaments. And also really interested to see how Pagula does because Pagula actually beat Naomi Osaka on clay. But not only that, she's also had a great season overall, even on the hard court. So Pagula's in some good form, possibly the most informed player in this part of the draw. So definitely excited to see those three players play. And we could get a Pagula versus Mertens fourth round, but then again, it could be anybody out of this part of the draw. All right, rounding out the top half of the draw, Draw now the fourth section. We have number 12 seed, Muguruza. She versus Kostjak in the first round. That is not an easy first round match there for Muguruza. Winner of that match is going to take either Zheng or Tormo in the second round. Then we've got a qualifier versus Gracheva. The winner of that match will take on the winner of Georgie versus the number 22 seed, Martic. 
who's in a little bit of form over the last couple of weeks. Then we got the 30th seed, Kontovic versus Gulabic. Winner of that match will take on either a qualifier or Mladenovic in the second round. Then we've got Pedersen versus Rogers. Winner of that match will take on either Juvan or the defending champion, number eight seed, Igor Sviantek. And I reckon Sviantek probably has one of the toughest draws, especially because she is the favorite going into this tournament. You can see there, she's going to probably have to play Muguruza in the fourth round or even Tormo, maybe even Martic. Some really tough opponents there. So I'll be definitely watching out for her this week. Also Muguruza. We haven't seen much of her on the clay courts in 2021. So definitely interested to see how she does this week. Tormo is also one I'm interested to see, having a really good 2021 career high ranking. And Martic, she seems to play her best tennis on the clay courts. So I'm interested to see how she does as well this week. And don't forget, the winner of this section of the draw will take on Kennen's section of the draw. So potentially, we could have a Kennen versus Fiontech quarterfinal, which will be a replay of the final from last year. And also, don't forget that the semifinals, Barty versus Fiontech is is definitely on the cards for the semi-finals. The two favorites, the two former champions, could be meeting in the semi-finals if they get out of their section of the draw. All right, going to the bottom half of the draw now, the top section of the bottom half, we've got the number seven seed, Serena Williams. She takes on Bagu in the first round. That is not an easy first round for Serena. Winner of that match will take on either Rus or Bozanescu in the second round. Then we've got Collins versus a qualifier. Winner of that match will take on either another qualifier or the 26th seed, Kerber, in the second round. Then we've got the number 21 seed, Rybakina, taking on the French wild card, Giacomo. Winner of that match will take on either Habino or Stojanovic in the second round. Then we have Viznina versus a qualifier. Winner of that match will take on either another qualifier or the number 11 seed, Kvitova. And don't forget, Kvitova actually made the semifinals of the French Open last year. So she's definitely one to watch for 2021. Also, we're definitely gonna be watching Serena see how she does because even though on paper it kind of looks like a favorable draw at least to the fourth round there's a lot of dangerous clay court players Bagu is pretty good on clay in her first round match and also Kerber I'm interested to see how she does because she could be meeting Serena Williams in the third round which means we're going to get a champ versus champ battle former world number one and the winner of that might have to take on Kvitova in the fourth round so a lot of Grand Slam champions in this little part of the draw. Going to the next section of the draw we've got a blockbuster first round talking about champ versus champ you've got the number 15 seed Azarenka versus Kuznetsova former world number ones former champions of Grand Slams it's going to be a huge first round matchup circle that one as one to watch winner of that match will take on either Towson or Bedosa in the second round. Then we've got Fernandez versus Potapova. Winner of that's going to take on either the wildcard Dodden or the number 23 seed Keys in the second round. Then we've got the 31st seed Pavlichenkova versus Mikhail. Winner of that's going to take on either Kozlova or Tomjanovic in the second round. Then we have another French wildcard Parry taking on Sasnovich. The winner of that match is either going to take on a qualifier or the number three seed Sabalenka, who has had a great clay court season in 2021. So career high ranking for Sabalenka. Definitely going to be watching her this week and next week because I expect that she's going to get into the second week of this slam. But other players to watch out for. Azarenka, been battling with injury for the most part of 2021. So I'm interested to see how she does at this tournament. And Bedosa, I'm interested to see how she goes in my players to watch for the WTA. She was one of my players to watch. Probably the most dangerous unseated player in the draw. And she has a pretty good draw because she's going to play the winner of Azarenka versus Kuznetsova. And that match could be a battle could be an epic, and then Bedosa might get a good win over one of those. So, interested to see what happens. Sabalenka, though, she'll be loving this because she has a pretty good ride to the quarterfinals if she can get through Bedosa or Azarenka. And remember, this section of the draw will play the top section of the draw, which means we could get a Sabalenka-Serena quarterfinal, or what I think is more likely, Kvitova versus Sabalenka. So, battle of the big hitters in the quarterfinals of the French Open. Going to the next section of the draw now, we've got the number six seed, Andrescu. She versus Zedensek in the first round. Winner that match will take on either Brengel or a qualifier in the second round. Then we've got Buskova versus Siniakova. Winner of that match is going to take on either Anisimova or the number 29 seed Kurumatova. Circle that one as one to watch because Anisimova, very dangerous unseated player, made the French Open semi-finals two years ago and Kurumatova is having a great 2021 especially on the clay court. So I'm interested to see that one. The number 19 seed Conta, she takes on Kastea in the first round. Winner of that match will take on either Van Utbank or Trevison in the second Second round. Then we've got Kazakina versus Doi. Winner of that match takes on the winner of Podoroska versus the number 10 seed Bencic. And again, that is an absolute blockbuster match. Podoroska, semi-finalist of last year, and actually beat Serena Williams on the clay during her preparations for this tournament. 
and Benchich. She's not bad on the clay as well, so interested to see how that one turns out. But the players I'm looking out for in this one, Bianca Andreescu. Interested to see how she does. She's coming in with a little bit of an injury cloud. She pulled out of last week's event mid-tournament to kind of manage the injury. So I'm interested to see how she does. Also, Podoroska. Interested to see if she can cause an upset in that first round because her draw opens up if she can. And she might be able to make the fourth round. She knows how to play on clay, so interested to see her. And Kudamatova. I think this is a great opportunity for her to continue her great clay court form. And she's got a good draw. She gets through Anissimova. There's no guarantee that Andrescu gets through. So I think Kudamatova has a great opportunity to get out of this part of the draw and is definitely one to watch. And going to the last section of the draw now, the very bottom of the draw, we've got the number 16 seed, Burtons. She takes on Hercog in the first round. Winner of that takes on either Sigamund or Garcia in the second round. Then we've got a battle of the French women, Cornet versus the wildcard, Tan. Winner of that match takes on either Kinepi or the number 20 seed, Vondrasova. And Vondrasova, former finalist back in 2019. So so definitely one to be watching. Then we've got the Battle of the Americans. We've got the 27 seed Risk versus Davis. Winner of that match takes on either the wildcard Burrell or Kovinic in the second round. Then we've got a qualifier versus Bogdan. Winner of that takes on either Teague or the number two seed Osaka. And on paper, Osaka has got a pretty good draw. No real big dangerous players, but unfortunately for Osaka, she hasn't had a great clay court season. So she is in danger every single match she plays, but maybe she can play herself into some form. So I'm definitely watching out for her this week. Also, so interested to see how Burton's does still on the comeback trail from injury but a couple of years ago she was one of the favorites to win the French Open and she is great on the clay so interested to see if she can maybe play herself into some form and Vondra Sova a former finalist back in 2019 with a good draw like this she could definitely make it into the quarterfinals so I'm interested to see how she does and remember this section of the draw will take on Andrescu section so going by the seeds we could be seeing Osaka versus Andrescu I don't think that's very likely I think this is the most open part of the draw and we could see someone like Vondrasova versus Kudamatova in the quarterfinals. Very wide open for me. I don't know who's going to get out of this part of the draw. So there it is. The French Open. The ladies French Open. And I'll tell you what. We've got some blockbuster first round, second round, third round, fourth round matches. The first week for the women is going to be on fire. And the great thing is that nobody really has an easy draw. Barty probably has the easiest draw on paper. But Spiontek, she's going to have to battle through a couple of players, including Muguruza, who we all know is a great champion, a former world number one, a former French Open champion. So I don't think anyone's got an easy draw. But let me know down in the comments below. Who do you think is going to win the French Open? It is wide open for me. So at the end of last year when we did the predictions for the French Open, I picked Halep to win the French Open. She's not playing, so I'm going to have to redo my pick. Sviontek is the favorite going in, but I'm going to go with Sabalenka to win. I think Sabalenka has had a really good clay court season. She's in the bottom half of the draw. I think she's got a pretty good draw. Her biggest threats are probably Kvitova, which is a quarterfinal opponent potentially. And in the semifinals, I mean, I don't know who she's going to play. We've got Andrescu, Bencic, Vondrasova, Burton's Osaka could be a random play, could be an unseated player in the semi final. So I think Sabalenka's got the best draw, and I'm going to pick her to win this tournament, winning her first major in her young career. So let me know down in the comments below who do you think is going to win the tournament? So the French Open is only a couple of days away, and the ladies' tournament is wide open.